blowing smoke out. I be floating around on heights most don't know about. I be way up in the air, cruising. I be rowing two bus cause that's what I'm used to doing. I be smoking. I be Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Blunt Marley, and this is Certified Pothead. I'm smoking on one of my uh, afternoon, late afternoon, early evening spliffs. You know we about to do BC. About to get into these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. This theory involves the Euphrates. History is full of tantalizing mysteries. What really happened to the dinosaurs? Who constructed the pyramids? And perhaps the biggest question of all who thought it was a good idea to bring back mullets today however we're diving into a theory that might just blow your mind and not just because of those funny little plants we love hold on to your bongs people light up your imagination because we're about to explore the euphrates cannabis conspiracy you heard me right according to this theory long before the euphrates river was a watery wonder we know today it was home to a vast cannabis oasis where ancient civilizations were not just getting by but thriving probably while sharing jokes about their neighbors weedy growing skills some proponents claim that the early religious leaders were more than just spiritual guides they were high priests in every sense of the word picture ancient priests in hemp robes gathering around a bonfire puffing on that sacred herb and having epiphanies you mean we float on clouds after we die that sounds dope let's put that in the scroll they were probably creating the first ever high council debating whether to roll or bowl their offerings i can just imagine them discussing profound topics like if a tree falls in the forest does it make a sound and does it get you hot here's a riddle for you once held life i used to flow but now i'm cracked where did i go i'm traced in dust my banks run deep where waters once surge and leap what am i imagine these ancient priests as the ultimate influencers passing wind is wisdom god i need to lord i keep trying to talk to y'all and words don't work right way i'm spoken passing wisdom like it was the hottest gossip did you ever hear about the guy who tried to plant corn in a weed garden it was a real kernel disaster i can just picture it Everyone's sitting around sharing tips on how to roll the perfect joint while discussing life after death. You know what would really be great? If we could just chill in the clouds forever. I'd RSVP to that gathering any day. Let's try to set the scene, right? Thousands of years ago, long before the Euphrates River became a mere trickle, the region was a lush paradise. A cannabis oasis teeming with life. Forget fertile crescents. This was the original fertile toxent. Ancient civilizations flourished in this green paradise, and why not? Cannabis was the, the magic beans of the crops. Need food? Hemp seeds packed with protein. Don't just bake those seeds into brownies, though, because it's not going to have the effect that you think. Medicine? Cannabis to the rescue. Healing ailments faster than you can say Sumerian spliff. Textiles? Hemp was their go-to. Those ancient Mesopotamians were probably rocking the coziest hemp outfits. Well, we'll all sit there trying to make tie-dye trendy again. They was rocking the dopest hemp suits imaginable. According to some, cannabis wasn't just a crop. It was the original social media. Yes, social media. Forget about Instagram and TikTok. These ancient stoners were gathering around campfires, sharing their best life hacks through joint storytelling. They puff away while swapping memes like, what do you call a stoner who can't stop talking about himself? A blowhard. Their likes came in the form of nods and hearty, satisfying puffs, creating a tight knit community of highly connected individuals. If they had hashtags back then, they'd be rocking like hashtag blaze glory and hashtag hemp happiness. Here's another riddle for you. I wind and twist, but make no sound. My path is marked across the ground. I carved a course, but now I'm dry. What was I beneath the sky? Hey, y'all take it as walk with me. Can you, can, you, can you imagine it? They're probably sharing growing tips like, you got to talk to your plants, man. They love the vibes. If only they had left us some ancient scrolls filled with cultivation advice. Grow your old Mesopotamia bellow. That'd be a bestseller. 
I mean, they must have been the ultimate green thumbs, probably throwing massive hipster meetups where they'd sit around exchanging secrets to the perfect crop. You know what makes plants grow better, man? A little love, bruh. They just need a little love. But it lasts, people. Like any good high, it didn't last forever. Either the villains of our story never show up or they show up like this. As an ancient cabal of buzz killers. Not the kind of friend who eats all your snacks during a smoke sesh. But rather a group that supposedly orchestrated the creation of the Euphrates River. Not to hydrate the land, but to draw out the cannabis culture. Yes, they literally washed away the truth. Not to hydrate, but to drown out the cannabis culture. Yes, they literally washed away the truth. Opponents of this theory say the river was redirected as part of a nefarious plot to erase the true history of cannabis. It's the ancient equivalent of deleting your browser history. The Euphrates became both a literal and symbolic washing away of this paradise. And those elite buzz killers were probably sitting back sipping their plain old water while chuckling. No one will ever know what we did. Legend has it that those ancient elites couldn't stand the idea of a communal high. They had their fancy bongs crafted from clay and reed, but no one could touch the joy of the great cannabis oasis. So what did they do? They redirected the river. Not to improve irrigation, but to suppress the good vibes. If we can't have the best weed, then let's flood the whole scene. Imagine their secret meeting. How can we keep our status? I know. Let's make the river the most popular spot in town and wash away the competition. Here's another riddle for you. In times of rain, I roar and rush. But now I lie in silent hush. With cracks and dust, I rest in peace until the storm when I'll release. What am I? Can you picture these social elite scribes sitting around the table planning on how to dilute the competition while puffing away? If we can't have the best strain, we'll just flood the area with water. Honestly, it sounds like a bad sequel to a stoner movie, The Last Bud Kill, Drowned Dreams. They probably thought they were genius masterminds, but really? They were just ensuring that history forgot their contributions. Let them drink water. We'll be sipping on something way more potent. So where's the evidence you ask? Well, some theorists point to the ancient texts. Sumerian, Akkadian, and Babylonian writings that allege references to cannabis. However, these references are often a bit hazy. Kind of like your friend after a long night out. Making them sound like vague recommendations for a mythical plant that brings good vibes. Then there's the discovery of ancient cannabis use in other parts of the world. Archaeologists have found evidence of cannabis being used in rituals and as medicine. But as for the Euphrates, it's almost as if someone wanted us to forget that part of history. And that's exactly what the theory claims. Some theorists whisper of hidden scrolls, long lost texts written on hemp paper detailing ancient cultivation techniques and strains with names like Mesopotamian Mellow and Sumerian Skunk. But of course, the cabal swiped them all and replaced them with boring papyrus scrolls. Talk about ancient smoke and mirrors trick. What better way to keep the truth buried than to pass off stale records as the norm? Here's another riddle for you. I once carried life, now I'm a dream. In the ancient past, I was a stream. Once a vessel for time's flow, now I'm a story. Tale of... Imagine a secret meeting of the elite, puffing on their fancy bongs and plotting the ultimate cover-up. Let's replace these scrolls with bland records about agriculture while we keep the good stuff to ourselves if only they had known that centuries later we'd all be sitting around discussing how much they were to blame it's like they thought they could literally erase the past who needs history when you have power let's just roll up and smoke it away where do we end up at the end of all this perhaps the lesson is that history is shaped not just by what was but by what wasn't allowed to thrive it's a little like trying to keep a good avocado toast and fast food joint just not gonna happen we may never know the true story behind the Euphrates river and its possible cannabis connection but one thing is clear weed has always been a part of human culture whether it's smoke-filled rooms of ancient civilization or modern day dispensaries just like the Euphrates river may have been the source of agricultural life in the ancient world perhaps it's time we all recognize the roots of cannabis culture and a significant role in shaping human civilization. So the next time you sit down with a joint and ponder the universe, remember that the answer to life, the universe, and everything might just be a little green. 
Let's keep the spirit of the ancient oasis alive one puff at a time. And who knows, maybe one day we'll discover the truth hidden behind the sand. Until then, stay curious, people. The answers to the riddle. Dry river bit. Dry river bit. Dry river bit. Dry river bit. See y'all in the next one.